Hey there, I'm Lance and I'm a gamer. And I'm Sam and I'm a non-gamer. And we are Love to Hate, where we help gamers find great games to play with non-gamers. And today we're taking a look at Takaido, the 10th anniversary edition by Funforge. Takaido, 10th Anniversary Edition. So obviously this is a game that has been around for 10 years. And uh, it is a classic game. It is a classic move as far down the line as you want, but just know whoever's in the back gets to go next kind of game. So timeline kind of game. And with this particular one, you're going to be taking different actions as you go down, down the road uh, in Japan all the way to Edo and uh, Takaido. And so what you are doing in this one is you're going on a journey and you're going to be trying different foods you're going to be buying different things. You're going to be giving point, uh, coins to the temple. Everything you do in this game gives you points. And the idea is to be the person who has the most points at the end of the game, obviously. Uh, with this particular one, you'll be putting together sets of cards and uh, just trying to complete different tasks. And the idea with this one is, is that you manage those wisely, uh, stopping along in the different spots. But then also players are going to be stopping at spots too that block you from being able to go to the place that you might want to go. So you might have to go to another place that's not so ideal for you. Uh, this is a game that is uh, the 10th anniversary edition, adds in fresh new artwork to this one. It's got a smaller box size, although this is still a pretty sizable yeah. box. <laughs> um, but it uh, does away with some of the insert in the, in the box, and so that's why the box is going to be smaller with this particular one. Um, but it's still got the beautiful artwork uh, of the board, very much the, the Japanese uh, look to it. Uh, but the cards do have new artwork to them, and so it doesn't look different, looks new. So, uh, Sam, you've never played Takaido before. We did do a review video on Takaido Duo, though. We yeah. did that back when that game came out, and we really had a, a good time with that one. Um, and I played Takaido before, but uh, this being the 10th anniversary edition, we both got to try it out with this one. So let's get into our thoughts on it. Uh, what did you think about Takaido just in general? I think there's you, there's just a lot of decisions that have to be made. I think you could easily just think about what your next move is, but really you need to think about how your next move is going to affect other people, especially as you get further down and you can kind of see what everybody's goals are. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you want to try to block people, but at the same time, is you, are you blocking them? Um, but are you getting anything out of that? Right. Or are you trying to move? Um, do you want to make sure that you're last so that you can move to that next spot first? Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of decisions to be made. So it, it's very much a point salad at the end yes. as far as how you're, you know, it's hard to tell who's winning. And I think that's the thing about it. Like this is this is a game that for probably most gamers, they probably feel like it's it's too light for them. And, and for most non-gamers, it is like a point salad and it's like having to split your mind so many yeah. different ways that it might feel a little, maybe a bit overwhelming. And so it's kind of that game that feels like, is, is it too light or is it too heavy? Well, yeah. it depends on who you are with this one, right? Yeah. Um, but I think it's the perfect kind of entry point game for two things, the point salad, right? Helping them to be like, okay, so you can focus on these things and get your points here, get your points there, get your points there. You can try to dabble in all of these things. Yeah. But it's also the perfect kind of game for that mechanic of you don't want to move too far down the line because you're going to miss out on all these things, that, that idea with this one. So if you've never played that type of game, I think this is a great game to get you into that kind yeah. of gaming. What do you think about that? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Now, um, again, coming from a gamer's viewpoint, though, I think you really want to, you know, play in with those the special abilities that each player can get at the beginning of the game that kind of you know dictates a little bit as far as what you lean into strategy wise because that's kind of maybe the spiciness in the game mm -hmm. that makes it a little bit more spicy for a gamer um, because otherwise it would be pretty vanilla pretty straightforward i feel like yeah. and that adds in just enough of a little bit of a spiciness to make it a little more interesting for gamers uh, what do you think about the look? What do you think about the theme and, and just the, its presence out on the on the table? I think for the most part, it's it's very pretty. It's very calming. Um, I thought that the um, score tracker was way too light. <laughs> yeah. And it went positive, it's negative. Zigzags. It's zigzags. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. But in general, it is a very colorful but calm 
Japanese type game. Yeah. Uh, this has been long referred to as one of the most calming, zen-like experiences when it comes to board gaming, and I and I think that's true. Yeah. Uh, Takedo Duo also kind of had that a little bit too. Um, it was a little bit different in a different way, but uh, you know, because it had the dice and you rolled and you picked, yeah. it's kind of like a roll and not roll and write, but it's similar to that kind of experience. Uh, where this this one, you're just moving straight down the line, so it's it's even more straightforward than Takedo yeah. Duo is. So. Uh, interesting game. Uh, I think it's one that probably works best for non-gamers yeah, than so. maybe it does even for gamers. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, it's, it's very easy. It's one track. You, you continue to move forward. You make your decisions. It's, it's very quick, so you yes. could even play it again yeah. um, if you felt like you needed to. The box is 45 minutes, and oh. I feel like that's got to be like in the highest yes, player counts. Be, yeah, <laughs> because the two people, I think, it was done. It is like 20 minutes, yeah, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a it's a very quick game. And I and I and that 45 minutes, I think it, it's got to be the, the higher player count. Yeah. So, I mean, it goes all the way up to five. So, maybe a five-player yeah. game would be that long. But uh, otherwise, yeah, 20, 20 to 30 minutes, I think, is probably how yeah. long it goes. So, the game is Takedo. It is the 10th anniversary edition. Adds in new artwork and a, a smaller box. So... Uh, something to check out from Fun Forge. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know what you think about Takedo. Make sure to like and subscribe and push that bell button so you get notifications of all our new content. I'm Lance. I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.